Welcome what? to Beer Me. Welcome to Beer Me. Belgian, Belgian Moon. Moon. Artwork. With this beer, you're supposed to have it with an orange slice. The orange accents the beer. I'm gonna, this is freshly squeezed now, look at that. That's a full moon right there. Yeah, well, uh, it's called Belgian Moon. Perfect combination of orange peel and coriander. It's very welcoming. Brewed in North America and it's called Belgian Moon. Yeah, it's like, like if, I'm, sorry. sorry. Sorry, go oh, ahead, yeah, no, please. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. The label is misleading. Belgian white, Belgian style wheat ale. What do you think? Six out of 10. I'm gonna give it a six as well. This is taste. <laughs> I don't think the orange needs to go in. It's pretty good. I don't know if I like it. You don't like it? I'm not sure. The brewmaster got his fucking PhD in brewing from the University of Belgium. That guy is a doctor in brewing beer. To Dr. Keith. Dr. Keith. It tastes like you had a plain carbonated beer and then you have a flavor pack and you add it and stir it yes. in. Yes. That's like a high C beer. I was just gonna say high C. It's refreshing. Ooh, if you take a big sip of it all at once, it gives you a ton of carbonation. It kind of cuts the sweet. Give it, do that. Go okay. ahead and do that. It's like Orange Crush. Okay. Now you're just being an asshole. You can taste Keith's blood, sweat, and tears into this thing. Yeah. He also puts two drops of pre-cum in every batch. Just a dash. To give it his signature Keith. He's dropping his batch into batches <laughs> of Belgian Moon. Probably can't keep that. Why he not? will sue us for slander. Back to Belgian Moon. <laughs> You go ahead, Trevor. You're first on this one. Thanks so much, Dave. I'm gonna give taste an eight. There's an eight for me, too. This is smoothness. Smooth moon. Totally different without the orange. It's less sweet. I don't think it's that smooth because it's so fucking full, you guys. It's like a full moon. You guys, Very if it clever, was... Trevor. Maybe this is just not our t cup of tea. Five out of ten. Four out of ten. This is down ability. <laughs> Three, two, one, Belgian moon. Belgian moon. That orange chaser is a great <laughs> idea. It was good. I feel amazing right now. It's very sweet though, lots of sugar. Seven. I'm giving it a nine. This is final grade. <laughs> it's reliability. <laughs> okay, we gotta put an orange in now, again. No, I don't want an orange in. It's reliability though, and this beer is made for an orange. No, it's not. This beer is made of oranges, not for oranges. Fuck, I'm not it, putting it orange in. It says best served with a fucking wedge of orange. We're on because reliability, so we have to. You no. have to. You gotta suck it up. No, I'm not doing it. We have to rate it on, no. on whether or not it's actually good with an orange. No, keep away. I'm not doing it. It does not say on here best served with an orange. It doesn't. I think this is a reliable beer, 100%. Yeah, it's really reliable. Just don't add an orange. You're welcome, Belgian Moon. Nine out of 10 for reliability. Nine out of 10. Now it would be final grade. Artwork, there's a couple nice pictures on here, but overall it's a little odd. Taste, we can tell that there's a lot of thought put into this. Smoothness, it's about as smooth. <laughs> Downability, you can chug this bitch no problem. Reliability, fuck the oranges. B plus, that's my rating. B. Guys, thanks for watching, Beer Me. <laughs> Please rate, review, subscribe, let us know what beers you want us to review, and have your pets spayed and neutered. <laughs>